All right, so for you guys that have followed along with us, you may know by now, we have an escapee on our hands. Our Americana chicken that we have has just been jumping over our fence ever since we've had her. No matter what kind of fencing we've put in, she's always found a way around it, found a way over it, under it, whatever way you could find. She started doing this, we really believe, because she was finding a way to lay eggs that were not in the nesting box. We found them right so far in two different spots. We've found them underneath our deck, right at the bottom of the steps of our deck. And after we found them, we found about like 10 of them underneath, I believe it was. When we kind of let them free range a lot more, all of a sudden we started seeing eggs kind of go missing again and we found Sunny hiding in another spot on the side of our housing over here. And other chickens started laying there too. So she was the only one laying in that spot. No, you guys can't be in the garden. Come on. Come on. No garden. You guys cannot be in the garden. Mama would not be happy. We've been letting our little chicks free range a lot more. I shouldn't even call them little anymore. I don't know. They're like 13 weeks maybe. So, I mean, they could be laying here maybe in about a month, month and a half. So they're not so little anymore. But we've been letting them free range a lot more, trying to get them accustomed more with us. In about a week, we'll probably try to bring these flocks together and we'll cross our fingers that it all goes nice and smooth. Once again, we believe that we're getting gypped out of eggs. We tried searching under the deck. I tried looking everywhere I could possibly see underneath the deck. I'm not finding any eggs, but instead of maybe finding a whole bunch of eggs rotting underneath our deck, hopefully not though, we wanna to try to get a hold on this now. We're gonna stop her from jumping over that fence. We have her, now it's time to hopefully do something that's gonna make her stop jumping over. Although that may look like that really hurts a chicken, it's very painless for them. There was no reaction the whole time I did it. And here she back is just hanging in with the flock like nothing just happened to her. When I first heard about clipping the wings, I was very unsure of it. It didn't sound like something that first sounds nice to them. It sounds kind of painful. It almost reminds me of like when people remove claws out of a cat. It's not something that is dangerous for them. It's safe and it helps keep them actually safer to do that to them. Now I don't have to worry about her jumping the fencing and going, getting lost or having a predator so that she's not in her protected area here. And hopefully we'll see how she does. We'll give you guys an update here within the next day. Maybe I'll film the end of this video here in a few days and let you guys know how many times that she's jumped the fence. We only did it to the one side. I've heard people say that that kind of keeps the imbalance now of her so she won't be able to fly as high where if you cut both sides, they can kind of balance up enough to fly over. I don't know how much that's true, but we're going to try it. She's kind of like the ringleader of jumping over the gate. So I think if we can stop her, it's kind of like cutting the head off the snake and that will hopefully stop and have no breakouts anymore. So we'll give you guys an update in a couple days and hopefully that works. But we've been having a surplus of eggs that we are not eating as well. Time to feed some to the dogs. Quick garden update. Melina pulled some lemon balm today mm -hmm. to add to our orzo pasta salad. Uh -huh. And there's something else that's I'm going to show you. Ooh, I was just about to tell him that. Let's show him. There's a full strawberry kind of turning a little red on the, over here. Mm -hmm. Chelsea's trying to keep plants alive just like she does inside the house. <laughs> I have gotten a lot better over the years, okay? You know, this is the most greenery I've ever seen you produce. So inside that are thriving it's gotten a lot better you have to learn how to do it our okay. strawberries here they look like they want to live but they just keep browning so i think i'm gonna raise their soil up a little bit because it keeps settling down and hopefully that will help oh, oh yeah, careful yeah, with that one gold. this bloom will help keep our these tomatoes safe it'll yeah. help stop the pest uh-huh and mm -hmm. those are yummy there's the lemon balms uh, okay Okay, so first strawberry almost popping out. 
a lot of lemon balm being eaten by the girls. A lot of plants growing. We're nothing to harvest really just yet other than lemon balm. And you can see that the marigolds were coming in to help protect our tomatoes from pests. And Theo over here. What are you doing, playing baseball? Who does keep that ball? Theo turns one in just about two weeks now, a little under two weeks. We're gonna have a one-year-old and then almost a three-year-old and a five-year-old basically. So one, three, and five goes a lot faster than you think sometimes. Yeah, I feel old. They probably couldn't hear you. Chelsea was asking if I feel old. I had to grow the beard so that I actually looked old. Everyone always said that I didn't look old. I had a baby face, so. Chelsea probably can still see the baby face underneath it all, but. Show them your boo-boo. Where's your boo-boo? <laughs> I think little kids are not allowed to have no scratches on them. They must have at least one scratch at all times. And when there's any kind of events happening, like parties, it must be on their face. Now an update here on the younger chickens. Like I said, we're about to co-mingle the two flocks. So just a few more days in this. Uh, we're thinking today we're gonna move this into our chicken run so that the chickens can coexist and kind of learn each other that way for a little bit. And then hopefully we open the doors and they do good together. I don't know. <laughs> maybe not today. Maybe today we'll move them really close and then maybe like for two days we'll have them while they'll be in here with the other chicks next to them and then put them together. And not having to move this chicken tractor around too much. We want to use it for meat birds. That's in our future, so. Right here, they have enough grass still in here, so we don't want them to tear all the grass up, so we should probably move it just a little bit today. And although we want the flocks to do good together, we've been trying to get these guys more used to us. They really haven't, like other, our last flock, they would come up to us and stuff. These guys are really tight pack. They like sticking together. I think one of them's lost right now and doesn't know how to get over here. You're okay, you're okay. We're trying to get them more adjusted to us though and seeing how well they like us. We gotta help one of the friends over here. He's stuck. Are you lost? You're by yourself. Come on. Let's go. You guys go together. Come on. Come on. Head back to everyone where everyone else is. Holy smokes, that did not happen already. I don't have to update you guys in two days. Sonny's already jumped the fence. Sonny. I don't know. I clipped the one side, so figured it didn't hurt. She already made it over once, so clip the other side and hopefully that'll do it. I don't know though. I've also heard that as soon as a chicken realizes what they can do to get out of somewhere, they'll just keep doing it. And clipping the wings, although it does stop their flight to not go as high, this just might not be high enough to stop her. So the next thing I'm gonna have to do is try to figure out a different way to block this fence off so that she doesn't feel confident to keep doing it. As of right now, it looks like one point for Sunny, zero points for us. All right. Uh, man. I think they're starting to eat their own eggs. I'm wondering, starting to have a lot of cracked yolk in there. And I'm wondering if the feed, they haven't been eaten as well for some reason lately compared to when we first had it. So I'm gonna try to make a new recipe. I don't think it has anything to do with what that recipe contains. I think that a lot of chickens would eat that kind of stuff. But for some reason, I don't know if they got bored of it or what's going on, but they have not been eating that food as well. And I think that's causing them to start eating some of their eggs. Should we get ready to move those chickens? No eating them. At least not yet.
we got the chicken tractor to move so it's right next to the run so that they can kind of coexist a little more and try to get them used to each other. Now it's time for our favorite game around here, chicken roundup. We got one, four to go. Number two. Melina, Melina, you got number three? Number three. If you haven't had a workout in a while, just let your chickens loose in. See how long it takes you to catch them. <laughs> we got them cornered. We got them cornered. They, they're such a big one. Oh, he's gonna fail. no eating chickens. All right, let's go. We got the two roosters. I feel like all the chickens are staring at what's going on here. We did this, put it really close. It's a little bit of an eyesore for us at this second. But the goal is, is for the week, they'll be there. They'll be able to really get accustomed to looking at each other a little more. Then we're gonna pull it right into the chicken run. We'll keep it inside the chicken run for like two days, just so that they kind of really, really get close to each other. And then after that two days, we're gonna try to put the flocks together. We'll definitely be vlogging it, making sure that you guys kind of see how it works for us. If anyone has any extra tips on putting kind of two different flocks together like that, let us know. It's not something that we've ever done, so this will be our first time and should uh, hopefully be nice and easy, quiet, no excitement. Well, that's enough excitement for us for one day. So thank you guys for tuning in again. We'll see you guys in the next vlog. You guys have a great day and a better tomorrow, and we'll see you later.